What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Gray Zone Warfare video. Right here, I'm going to be comparing Gray Zone Warfare from top to bottom to Escape from Tarkov. A lot of people are trying to draw comparisons between these two games, and in some ways, they are pretty similar, but I'm going to explain why they are vastly different. Let's start with progression. Escape from Tarkov is a game synonymous with a hardcore type of realism. Starting at level one, players have to progress through their tasks, unlock gear, and now even maps that in a lot of ways caters to a solo mentality where you have to get certain items in the raid, go to certain places, pick different maps based on how you want to play it. There's also the element of a scav, your stash, your hideout, and everybody kind of has a different goal. Some people like to rush Kappa. Some people like to rush finishing the hideout. Some people just want to have a good time and maybe try to just get to unlock the flea market. But it really comes down to the individual and what you want to do with the game as far as progression. For myself, I've always enjoyed unlocking the AXMC and getting through those Sherman tasks on woods so I can get that gun because I enjoy sniping. The rest of it really doesn't matter too much to me. I've never unlocked Kappa. I have maxed out my hideout a few times, but really it comes down to how I want to play and how I, what I want to rush to get to. And that's a very individualistic way of playing. So whether you're a PVP enthusiast, scavenger, you like to just build your hideout, Tarkov is going to allow solo players to kind of shape their narrative. And, and it's really unforgiving, but it's multiple maps and they can play it how they want to. Now let's kind of shift our focus to Gray Zone Warfare. While sharing some of the realism aspects, Gray Zone emphasizes on squad play straight out the gate. 150 missions with different mission objectives. It is very clear that you're going to have to build your kits differently and really share responsibilities inside your own squad. Whether you have medics, demolition experts, recon and marksman experts, it doesn't really matter, but having the responsibilities designated up front will help you complete the mission everybody more or less is going to be on the same page. Which personally in Tarkov, especially with my friend group, we've always kind of had a hard time later into the wipe, staying on the same page with the same objectives. That's where I think Grey Zone Warfare is going to stand out with these dynamic roles, promising a team type of oriented adventure where every squad member's contribution is going to matter to the overall conclusion in each and every mission. So that's a huge one. Now let's go on to the next one. PVP dynamics and potential faction control inside certain territories in the ever evolving map. So if we delve into the player versus player dynamic, Grey Zone Warfare has said they're going to introduce territories and faction control, offering an experience that's not really possible in Escape from Tarkov because each and every raid is under a map lock and a raid timer. So however they do it, if we have to engage in intense skirmishes, shaping the game world through different faction wars and very similar to titles like New World, I've always enjoyed playing that to some degree. It adds a layer of strategy overall in the long term and rivalry with other factions. I think that's huge. I think that adds an awesome PvP layer and strategy with more people overall long term to control more parts of the map. I believe this is confirmed it's not going to be in the playtest or maybe even early access, but it is coming to the game. So as we explore these differences, it's crucial to highlight the sort of distinctions. Tarkov seems to always cater to the lone wolf type of mentality with level progression, while Grey Zone Warfare seems to be focusing more on squad play, dynamic roles, and evolving AI. Let's talk about the freedom of choice inside Grey Zone Warfare. I've already touched on Tarkov having sort of your progression kind of being what you make it. Let's talk about the same freedom of choice in Grey Zone Warfare. One exciting aspect of GZW is the freedom it, it does offer. Unlike Tarkov's raid timers, Grey Zone is going to grant sort of a liberty to pursue a gripping storyline straightforward, engaging in PvP and adapting to your squad's diverse mission objectives like we talked about earlier. Whether you crave firefights, a captivating narrative, strategic thrill, Grey Zone is going to break free from that traditional map construction and time constraint that we get from Escape from Tarkov. Let me touch on that a little bit more with the open map. If any of you have played Woods on Escape from Tarkov, Woods is going to be about a little bit over 1.5 square kilometers. And Woods is one of the larger maps. I know Streets is bigger, but this is just for comparison. The map on Grey Zone Warfare is going to be roughly 27 times the size of Woods. 42 square kilometers providing a grand canvas of tactical warfare, exploration, and dynamic encounters anytime you're deployed. And that lack of constraint, time, map, Map selection, I think, is going to be a very good thing for this type of shooter. So with this persistent map that you load into, let's talk about the AI. Since this is going to be a PvEVP with the E coming first, they have to knock the AI out of the park. With Escape from Tarkov, when I think of AI, I think of voice lines before you get shot. I think of scavs pushing you over and over, sometimes running away to heal. But often, it's kind of simple. You draw aggro, you kill them. It's pretty simple. Each of the bosses are going to have their own strengths and weaknesses, which is pretty fun and offers a unique experience with that. But the AI in Grey Zone Warfare 
is going to be vastly different, so they say. To some degree, the AI is going to always be evolving with the map itself and the interactions they have with other factions, players. So with that being said, they're going to carry out their own little missions. They're going to do different patrols. They're not always going to be in the same spot. And how they act is going to be vastly different from day one compared to day 30. If they're outnumbered, they're going to run. If they have the strength, they're going to fight you. These things have all been promised by the developers, so I'm looking forward to that. Especially if we're going to focus on PvE, the AI has to be great. With over a thousand AI enemies on the map, these entities operate in factions. They mold the persistent world to their liking just like we're trying to do. How they engage and defend areas will be important, and the success of the game hinges on the implementation of this dynamic AI system. In my opinion, it's one of the most important things. If you made it this far, you're obviously getting something out of this video. I'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing. You don't have to. You can enjoy it just the same, but I just thought I'd let you know it's there and it's free. With all this being said, none of us have played Grey Zone Warfare. We don't know exactly how they're going to implement everything, but I'm very excited about the differences that I'm already seeing with Escape from Tarkov. I want to be clear, Grey Zone Warfare is not Escape from Tarkov. The day-to-day -day gaming loop is going to be vastly different. Sure, there are mechanics with the weapons, the realism, the immersion. In conclusion, these two games, if Grey Zone Warfare is successful, they're going to represent the pinnacle of realistic tactical shooters. Each with its own flavor and philosophy, Escape from Tarkov is going to cater more to the individualistic explorer, pvp -er, chad type of gameplay, while Grey Zone Warfare beckons those seeking a dynamic, squad-centric adventure. The choice between them is going to depend on your playstyle and preferences, and the kind of immersive experience you are yearning for. So let me know what you think in the comments. What are some of the differences you are excited about and some of the things you most look forward to testing in Grey Zone Warfare? I appreciate you guys stopping by and hearing my take on the differences between Escape from Tarkov and Grey Zone Warfare. I will catch you on the next video. Thank you.